Welcome back to my channel. This is Ishita here and today we are going to talk about a very important topic. Today we are going to cover acne, pimples and zits, even the blackheads and whiteheads. So these are the very few basic things that everybody almost either men or women face in their daily life. For example, if you have 6 to 7 acne all over your face, most people do not feel confident in that case and whatever makeup you wear, it is going to be like visible after the makeup also. So hence it becomes important to remove them and to talk about them in detail. So in today's video, I am going to talk about that exactly what your pimples or acne talk about your health. For example, if you are getting acne and pimples over this certain area and you are again getting pimples or acne over this area then there must be two different thing causing them for example here almost the pimples or acne comes because of dandruff or certain other factors whereas here it can be hormonal so we have to talk about that in details but before I start these are the very basic things almost there are many more factors that are linked to it I'll try to cover almost all the areas so if you have any kind of queries regarding this then you can write to me in the comment section below so let's get started so to exactly explain you that where is the reason and what I am talking about I am going to use this lip liner so by that I am going to mark out the areas on my face so that it becomes much more easier to understand for you so let's get started regarding our forehead and why or what can cause pimples or acne in that individual area so first of all I am going to divide my forehead in two sections by that I mean the upper forehead and the lower forehead so first of all this is the reason oops it's breaking down so this is almost the upper forehead area by that I mean this area so if you are getting pimples here then it can be because of dandruff issues because dandruff is almost caused by fungus and bacteria that is present in our scalp so if you have too much dandruff or fungus then it can be possible that you are getting that first you have to clear up them to get rid of this kind of small small zits all over your forehead so now next we have the down area or by that I mean this individual area where I'm going to mention it like so so if you have pimple in this individual area starting from the mid eyebrow length to this little bit area then that can be because of stress or if you are not getting proper sleep in nights then that can be the reason of getting those pimples even the pimple can come up in your eyebrows few people have them so you have to take proper rest you have to take proper amount of sleep to get rid of them so these are the two areas that we have covered right now we are going to move for the third area that is the nose for example from this area to this area if you are getting any pimple then that is probably because of any heart issues or even that can be because of acidity or gastric issues in your stomach and if you have them then that can be the reason that you are getting pimples or acne here in this individual area so to get rid of those kind of pimples you have to take proper diet or you have to take care of your diet for a few days then you will see that there is a remarkable change in those pimples now comes the fourth area that is this individual area near to our chin so if you consume too much amount of fast food or oily food other than that if you have menstrual problem you are not getting your menstruations regularly then that can be the reason of getting pimples here so this is the area fourth where where exactly you can get acne and pimples because of your menstruation issues now comes the most important area where mostly people get pimples and acne that is this area where we have our cheeks and that too very close to the nose that is from so these are the areas where mostly people get acne and pimples the most probable chances are that you will be getting pimples and acne here and even if you can get like 
blackhead and whitehead that too will be here itself so that is most probably either because of any hormonal issues that means if you are in your puberty other than that it can be because of not clearing your makeup other than that if you have any kind of allergies that means then any kind of allergy for example if you are allergic to some product if you are using a cosmetic that doesn't suit your skin other than that if you are allergic to sun that can be possible that you are getting pimples or acne is here in this individual area so mostly people get acne and pimples here so you have to take care of this area very very well so now moving next these are the areas near to our ear where few people get pimples and acne if you are continuously stuck to your phone and you are using that for long hours by that i mean if you are using your phone for more than 2 to 3 hours there are people those who use them like that so there are chances that you will get acne and pimples here because continuously holding the phone here can cause friction between your cell phone and your skin that can be the reason that you are getting pimples or acne in this individual area or this hairy area so this are the six areas where all you can get pimples and acne and these are the few things that can cause them so other than that there can be few more things which can cause acne and pimples in your body so if you are in your 13 to 19 that means if you are in your puberty then you can face this kind of problem because of hormonal imbalances going on in your body so other than that women in their 45 to 50s again face this kind of problem because of menopause because mostly in women in that period of time the menstruation cycle stops other than that if you are not regularly cleaning your face that means that if in night before sleeping you are not clearing up the makeup then that can be a reason other than that if you are not continuously cleaning that makeup brushes and your beauty blenders then that can be few more things that can cause acne and pimples so this was today's video if you want me to talk about any such thing in detail then please do let me know in the comment section below if you have some serious sort of issues regarding pimples and acne and you are not confident enough to talk in public then my email id will be given in the description box you can send me those individual areas pics or even you can write to me in my email so thank you so much for watching this video make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel if you are a new viewer thank you bye bye take care of yourself